KIRO TV, Channel 7, Seattle. The News Specialist. Gary Justice, Susan Hutchison, Wayne Cody, Harry Walker, the Eyewitness News Team, and Chopper 7. From the newsroom in Seattle, this is Channel 7 Eyewitness News Update. Good evening. The Tacoma City Council tonight voted to lend $10 million to the Washington Public Power Supply System. Now, the news specialist, Gary Justice, Susan Hutchison, Wayne Cody, Harry Wappler, Chopper 7. From the newsroom in Seattle, this is Channel 7 Eyewitness News Update. Good evening. The wreckage of a small plane missing for more than four years was found today in East King County. Now, the news specialist, Linda Coldiron, Gary Spinell, Richard Montague. Chopper 7. From the newsroom in Seattle, this is Channel 7 Weekend Eyewitness News. Good evening. The Marines are out of Beirut tonight and on ships off the coast of Lebanon. Today, a special edition of Eyewitness News Afternoon, the Great American Smoke Out. We'll look at the question of smokers' rights, the dangers of breathing secondary smoke, and why people ignore the health warnings. We'll examine the effects on children who smoke cigarettes, and Herb Weissbaum looks into the Stop Smoking products and finds out if they really work. Live from the Channel 7 studios, it's Eyewitness News Afternoon with Susan Hutchison and Steve Rabel. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Eyewitness News Afternoon on this Thursday, November 17th. Hi, Susan. Hi, Steve. You know, today we have a show for... Good evening, this is the Cairo Evening News. I'm Gary Justice. The controversy is heating up in May. Now, Cairo Eyewitness News, the news specialist. With John Marler, Susan Hutchinson, Wayne Cody Sports, Harry Walker Weather. Live from the newsroom in Seattle. Cairo Eyewitness News Update. Good evening. A Seattle man pleaded guilty today to a string of assaults and burglaries committed last spring. Now, the day's first look at the news. The Cairo Morning News. With Nick Walker, Karen O'Leary, Larry Rice Weather, and Paul Brendel Traffic. Aaron Brown, Harry Wampler Weather, Wayne Cody Sports, and Nightside Reporter Melanie Granford. This is Western Washington's most watched late night news. Eyewitness News at 11. Good evening again. The two day rebellion of military troops in the Philippines does appear to be ending those. Justice and Aaron Brown, Steve Rabel Sports, and Harry Wappler Weather. Live from the newsroom in Seattle, this is Cairo News at 7. Good evening. Washington's biggest party in a hundred years got underway today. Now, Gary Justice, Susan Hutchison, Harry Wappler Weather, Wayne Cody Sports. This is Western Washington's news leader, Cairo Eyewitness News at 5. Now, Gary Justice, Susan Hutchison, Harry Wappler Weather, Wayne Cody Sports. This is Western Washington's news leader, Cairo Eyewitness News at 5. The FAA ordering inspections of 18 new Boeing 737s. Gary 
Justice, Aaron Brown, Harry Wappler Weather, Steve Rabel Sports. This is Western Washington's news leader, Cairo News at 7. Good evening again, Dave. Now, Aaron Brown, Harry Wappler Weather, Wayne Cody Sports. This is Western Washington's local news leader, Cairo News at 11. Good evening again. Now, this morning's first news, first weather, and traffic every seven minutes. With us exporter, Chris Lagares and Larry Rice Weather. From your 24-hour news source, this is Cairo First in the Morning News. Cairo News Time, 4.30. Good morning and thanks for joining Cairo's First in the Morning News. I'm Essex Porter. Today is Friday, November 30th. You're watching Cairo TV, Channel 7, your 24-hour news source. Now, Steve Rabel, Nerissa Williams, and Larry Rice Weather. This is Western Washington's news leader, Cairo News at Noon. In Cairo TV, Channel 7, your 24-hour news source. Now, the weekend's latest news, weather, and sports. This is Western Washington's news leader, Cairo Weekend News. Good evening. The front line in the Persian Gulf War has moved to Mo Now, the weekend's news, weather, and sports. From your 24-hour news source, this is Cairo First in the Morning News. Good morning, Cairo News Time, 6 o'clock. Today is Saturday, September 21st. They and Larry Rice with Lou Guzzo commentary from your 24-hour news source. Live, this is Cairo News at Noon. Narissa Williams and Larry Rice with Lou Guzzo commentary from your 24-hour news source. Live, this is Cairo News at Noon. Or watching Cairo TV, Channel 7, your 24-hour news source. Now, Aaron Brown, Harry Wappler, and Wayne Cody, with John Procaccino, Mr. First Nighter, and the Eyewitness Newsreel. From your 24-hour news source, this is Cairo News, live at 11. Good evening again. It was bound to happen some night, and tonight was the night. Seattle police evicted a group of homeless activists who were occupying an empty building. In the process, there were nearly a dozen arrests and one tragic accident. Now, Aaron Brown, Harry Wampler, and Wayne Cody, with John Procaccino, Mr. First Nighter, and the Eyewitness Newsreel. From your 24-hour news source, this is Cairo News, live at 11. Good evening again. You're watching the Cairo News Network, the combined power of Cairo AM, FM, and TV. Good morning to you. It's 5 o'clock. It's Friday, June 11th. I'm Karen Shoma. And I'm Steve Knight in for Brian Wood. Some of the stories headlining Cairo. This is Cairo. News Channel 7 at 5. Good evening, everyone. Senator Gordon is in the hospital tonight after suffering a mild heart attack. The You're watching Cairo. News Channel 7 at 5. With Steve Rabel. Margaret Larson. Harry Wampler's weather, and Tony Ventrella with sports. This is Cairo, News Channel 7 at 10. Good evening again. Word is that it cost a whopping 200 million. This is Cairo, News Channel 7 at 11. Good evening. It was the scene of a murder. Young Angelica Robinson was killed while she... I'm Steve Rabel. And I'm Susan Hutchison. It's ahead in this half hour of Cairo 7 Eyewitness News. With complete Northwest News coverage, this is Cairo 7 Eyewitness News. But first, what... With complete Northwest News coverage, this is Cairo 7 Eyewitness News at 5. 
breaking news in Woodenville, where a woman's of With complete Northwest News coverage, this is Cairo 7 Eyewitness News at 6.30. It's just really hard losing all that, you know. With complete Northwest News coverage, this is Cairo 7 Eyewitness News at 11. Columbine has just got us all shook to the bone. Cairo 7 Eyewitness News at noon begins right now. Getting with breaking news this noon. Cairo 7 Eyewitness News at 5 begins right now. Good morning on this Monday. Glad you're with us. I'm Julie Francovilla. I'm Galston Dart. Want to start with pinpoint traffic and weather together every 10 minutes. Now, complete Northwest News coverage continues with Steve Rabel and Christy Lee on Cairo 7 Eyewitness News at 5. Only local news and weather at 6. Cairo 7 Eyewitness News begins right now. New details in a deadly wrong way crash in the Fort Lewis soldier behind the wheel. We f With complete Northwest News coverage, this is Cairo 7 Eyewitness News at 6.30. Cairo 7 Eyewitness News at 6.30 begins right now. Snow, wind, and rain, something of everything is pounding our region, putting us on storm watch tonight. Good evening, I'm Christy Lee. I'm Steve Rabel. Cairo 7 Eyewitness News, 11 at 11, begins right now. A high-speed police chase. Cairo 7 Eyewitness News at 5 begins right now. And we begin tonight with a developing story out of the Rainier Valley. For Committed to complete Northwest News coverage, Cairo 7 Eyewitness News starts right now. His daughter was allegedly murdered by her soldier husband. And then her body was hidden in a storage box for two months. Dedicated, straightforward Seattle news coverage. Cairo 7 Eyewitness News starts right now. And good morning, I'm Michelle Millman. Thanks so much for joining us on this Saturday, February 4th. <laughs> Dedicated, straightforward Seattle news coverage. Cairo 7 Eyewitness News starts right now. New at 11, he bravely... Live, local, late breaking. You're watching Cairo 7 Eyewitness News. Dedicated, straightforward Seattle news coverage. Do not do it. Don't go. Now at six, a grieving father begged his daughter not to go surf fishing in the rough coastal waters, but she didn't listen and ended up being swept out to sea. Annie Bond disappeared from the coast in southwest Washington as her young daughter waited for her in their could confuse drivers. Live, local, in-depth. Cairo 7 News starts now. We start with breaking news now at 6 a.m. Right now, Burien Police are... Cairo 7 News starts right now. Riot police are ready. Donald Trump's first rally in the Northwest begins... Live, local, in-depth. Cairo 7 News at 6.30 starts now. Local rivers pushed to their limits, with the weather leaving a mess on the roads. Nothing like I've seen before. Cairo 7. Cairo 7 at 11 starts right now. Developing now, Hurricane Harvey makes landfall. We are starting to see trees go down everywhere. We're starting to see a lot of debris. The Category 4 storm is bringing 130 mile an hour winds and flooding rains. We are predicting an extreme event. Tonight, team coverage as Texas is gripped by Hurricane Harvey. Live now to Corpus Christi, Texas. We are monitoring deteriorating conditions as the dangerous. Live, local, in depth. Cairo 7 at 11 starts now. Only on Cairo 7. And it is a complete shock to everybody in his life. The family of a missing Auburn man found dead in the trunk of his car breaks their silence. There's the trauma of now waiting for answers. New at 11, their hope someone comes forward and reveals what happened to Hector Galliano. Now, police are still investigating what led to the death of the 27-year-old. And tonight, his sister sat down only with Cairo 7's Lindsay Sh K-I-R-O-T-V, Channel 7, Seattle.